Hello again today from the top of the Belcara rock pile. We're with the LMRCC for their pre-opening competition event before the full season starts. So a lot of people have come out today to play around and figure out their lines for the coming season. Everything from scale to full on come out today. What do we got going on here, Darren? Uh, this is a uh, Tamiya high lift with uh, some suspension mods to make it perform a little better and uh, various body damage and rust. They should look all beat up. That's kind of what a trail truck looks like, especially these old Toyotas. Wow. It's a lot of fun. And this is the one you uh, are not afraid to roll off a rock? No, I don't mind wrecking this one. Okay. Then I can build another one. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're with uh, Greg Pugh here. He's gonna walk us through the anatomy of a rock crawling course throughout the points. So Jason's gonna drive through this. We've got a few gates set up from what I can see. Well, he'll start at the start line here. Time would start as soon as he crosses the beginning. Progressions are based through every gate that he gets all four wheels through. So as he drives along here, he won't fully get his points for that gate until he cleanly passes all four tires through. Is that negative points he would have received for that or? For progressions it's negatives and any penalties would add as a positive. Um, like golf the uh, final score is the lowest uh, is the best. Penalty scores are based on backups, gate hits, if the vehicle rolls over or if you at any point have to touch your vehicle either for a repair or to uh, right it from a tumble. You'll notice that Jay has quite a tight turning radius. He's uh, engaging what we call the dig function, which will lock his rear tires and help the front just pull around in a tight, tight turn. Jason's rig is one of the uh, newer forms of competitive crawlers in that it has a motor on axle setup. Traditionally, they've had a transmission with a center motor and drive shafts and over the past few seasons progression has been made to putting the motors right on the axles themselves. So what he's crawling right now is almost a completely vertical surface. Yeah, the motor on axles, uh, due to the lack of torque twist of having a drive shaft, actually uh, do perform quite well on steep, steep climbs. In the past uh, it was quite a challenge to keep your rig from tipping because you were fighting the, the force of the transmission. Do you know how many degrees of angle he's getting out of the front end for steering on this rig? The average crawlers can run anywhere from about 30 to 45 degrees. Um, Jason's quite known through the competition series to have secret little tweaks and mods, so I'm sure he's pushing his steering to its utmost limits, giving him the ability to really go through the course quite well. It seems like a lot to remember while trying to concentrate on such difficult terrain, but after uh, a couple of runs, the competitors really get used to the, uh, the comp setup. It becomes second nature. Jason's been uh, one of the LMRC founding members and uh, one of the longtime crawlers here in the lower mainland of BC. And even the best find that the courses have progressed to quite a difficult level, keeps progression in the sport, and keeps the drivers challenged and uh, happy. Well, that was great. Thanks for talking us through that. You're welcome. Oh, it made it look like that's nothing. I 
A big part of learning how to rock crawl is basically just get out on the rocks and find a line and play on it. Practicing driving skills before you get into competition helps you to learn how to do things and not make a lot of mistakes and have points deducted. Well, that's it again from the top of the rock here in Belcara Park. We hope you enjoyed what you saw today. We saw a lot of really cool rigs from scale all the way down to the full comp. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you again later.